exercise using the conditional statements if else if else always write the code between the curly braces inside the static void main method i would like to always start with saying the purpose of this particular exercise or the name okay that is what i'm going to be checking so let us assume a simple situation um, if user enters a display apple if user enters b display ball if user enters c display cat else or otherwise display dog let us say that there's a simple app like this get user input so this is what the goal is for this particular exercise so just like a fun game so what is the very first step the very first step is to get an input what is the type of the input the input is going to be a letter a letter is a text in this case we don't have to convert to an integer so please remember that so console dot read line would give us a text and all i have to do is just store it to a string called um, text i can directly use it now so i want to check examine what is inside text if text equal to a what should i say else if what should i say else if that's the block and then the final is the else block because we have four conditions so that's the if then the else if that's the if then the first else of second else of in the else condition so if text equal to a i want to say next one is going to be ball third one is going to be cat The last one is going to be no matter what we enter it's going to say dog so the comparison is going to be then we let's put the console dot read line read key So I always want to enter a prompt. So console dot write line. That's the prompt. It's going to say enter a letter from A to Z. That's my prompt. Let's see how this works. I entered A, it says Apple. So the next letter B is Paul. <laughs> C 
would be cat and then D would be dog. Uh, anything else will be dog. So let's enter like a Z maybe. Z. That should give me dog. So the reason why I'm showing you this is because if condition and if else condition and if else else if else if if else if else if else all of them follow the same pattern it is just how many conditions you have to fit there in the area of the square example i showed you just this one condition to see if it's a square or not it was just an if condition in the uh, uh, example where we have done like the score pass or fail we did the if and else condition so in this situation i'm showing you the situation where you have more than two options as your uh, condition to test so when you have more than one more than two options then you have to go for this if else if else remember that there is only one else in the end there is only one if to begin with one else to end all the else ifs go in the middle okay please remember that hope this was helpful thank you